Hello everyone, Frost here, with Gold Guide. Too many content creators making fun of my accent, so today I decided to fully embrace it. Make sure to smash like if you think this is different. Hardcore WoW so popular, people need the gold. Today I'm using math to make margin profit by purchasing and crafting from the auction house, because unlike you, I went to school. This gold guide is done mostly FK, so it can satisfy even the laziest motherfuckers out there. For this method we need engineering and smelting to craft iron grenades. The materials required for one craft are 1 iron bar, 1 heavy blasting powder, 1 silk cloth. One stack of 10 iron grenades will sell for 50 silver, which means we have to reduce our crafting price below that. For today we purchased materials for 400 crafts of iron grenades. The materials were raw. So we had to smelt the iron and create the heavy blasting powder. The prices I paid for the materials are the following. 76 silver for 20 iron ore. 1 gold 55 silver for 20 heavy stone. And 37 silver for 20 silk cloth. First I started with smelting all the iron bars which took about 15 minutes. Moved on crafting to the heavy blasting powder which took about the same or more. And once I had all the materials ready for 400 crafts, I went to watch a movie. Little did I know that having 4 empty bag slots will not be enough because nades stack in 10 and materials in 20. So my character stopped crafting very fast because my bags got full. So basically I had to come back every 5 minutes to the PC and vendor the nades so I can make more. Now let's give a couple of tips and tricks to make this better. Set a limit on how much you're willing to pay for each material. Buy your materials during peak time as a lot of people play and they undercut each other by a lot. And the activity of the auction house is quite high. Send the materials to an alt and keep them in mail to save space. When you're ready to craft, just return the mail back. With that being said, our 400 nades craft is done. The total cost of the materials was 53.6 gold and we vendored 60 gold worth of nades which is always going to be the same because 3 nades is average per craft. 60 minus 53.6 equals 6.4 gold profit. Which now that I think about it, it sucks. But at least it's honest and ethic gold made using math skills. One last tip before you leave. Blizzard has released a statistic about Hardcore WoW and apparently the average death level is 10. Now, to get with safety to higher levels, download Rested XP from the link in the description and use the survival guide. The guide is free up to level 20 and all its features. And if by any chance in the future you consider making an upgrade, use the code FROSADAMUS for a discount. Thank you very much for watching, until next time, stay frosty!